This is Crypto Wild Wild West For the haters at every step Got my drip, I'm fresh to death Hydrate now, I feel refreshed DeFi Dialogue Welcome back to the channel Hope you're doing good today It's a new day A new opportunity to get the bag Let's talk about it And if you're new around here I am not a financial advisor And this is not financial advice So let's kick things off Over here in the animal farm as you can see, the price of pigs today, $148.47. And the BUSD total value locked, $46,652,000. And of course, it wouldn't be right to talk about the animal farm and not check out the drip garden. And you can see the total LP locked inside of the garden is down another day, $473,000 right now. And today I finally reached 300,000 in the garden. I'm at 304,208. And like I mentioned in my video yesterday, I am not concerned or worried about the garden. What I'm going to keep doing is growing, compounding, and adding to this position. The drip garden is part of the ecosystem that I'm going to utilize in order to grow my bag over here in the farms. And I did receive a lot of feedback in my video yesterday. Most people were very encouraging, told me they do like the drip garden. They see that it's a vital part of the farms and they're using it as the ecosystem expands to grow and compound their position as well. And speaking about the farms, in the last AMA, if you tuned in, you heard Forex mention what his strategy would be if he was brand new to DeFi and brand new to the animal farms. What are a couple of the strategies that he would use? So let's talk about some of the things that he brought up. So in the first strategy, I'm going to refer to it as path one, and it involves utilizing dogs. Forex stated, if you already have native BSC assets, something like ETH or LINK already in your wallet, simply take those assets, bring them to the farm, stake the assets in the farms and start earning dogs. And next, Place dogs in auto compounding dogs and accumulate pigs. Once you accumulate the pigs, take the pigs and place them into the pig pen. So just looking over this strategy, what I really like about it is you already have native BSC assets in your wallet. In this example, it was Link or ETH. If you already have them sitting in your wallet and you're not earning any type of yield off of them, why not bring them to the farm and have them work in your benefit? So to me, if you fall into this category, it's a no brainer to at least take part of your assets and stake them on the farm to earn these rewards. And so the next strategy that Forex mentioned in the AMA, I'm going to call it path number two, and it refers to utilizing pigs. And this is what he said. If you have capital and experience buy pigs and dogs, most of the capital that you use to buy pigs, place them inside of the pig pen. This should be around 90% of the pigs that you buy. The other 10% of the pigs that you buy, use those to buy the pigs and place them inside of the piggy bank. Yes, it's higher risk, but also higher reward. And then use your earned pigs BUSD rewards that you got from the piggy bank to place those in the pig pen as well. So if you're like me and have been doing your own research, you probably came to the same conclusion that I have. Pigs are valuable. The more pigs you got, the better off you are. And the strategy that he mentioned by taking 10% of the pigs you buy and actually placing them inside the piggy bank is a strategy that I like too. Right now, my piggy bank does not look good. My pigs are scrawny. I do need to get those positions up. I still like the piggy bank because I earn pigs BUSD. And so the final part of this strategy utilizes the dogs that I told you about purchasing earlier. 50% of the dogs pair them with BUSD and use those dogs to enter the farm in order to earn pigs. Forex said he believes more people will utilize the dogs BNB pool because this is the auto compounding pool. And so the remaining 50% of the dogs that you have Pair them up with BNB and place them into the auto compounding dogs. So this is a topic that I was discussing over the weekend. A lot of times you have people in your family or your friends 
who are new to DeFi, just trying to figure out where is the best place for them to actually start in order to really get their bags going. And so as we get closer to the farms going live, I'm going to be reevaluating my strategy. Of course, I'm going to be out there in the community listening to other people's strategies. But what I'm trying to do is point new people that I know in the right direction so they make sure they can really utilize their bag and grow their positions to the best of their ability. And I already know as soon as these farms go live, there's going to be multiple strategies floating out there in the community. Each one probably claiming they're a little better than the other. Do your own research and do the strategy that you understand the most or benefits you the most. And so with all that being said, let me wrap it up over here at my favorite strategy, the foundation of it all, the pillar that supports the whole drip ecosystem, the drip faucet. In the faucet, what I've been doing is compounding my position. Today, I'm at 1741. I really need to get this over 2000. That is my master plan goal for now. So until I reach that, it's nothing but compounding and adding to the bag. And a big shout out to everybody on the team, everyone that decided to join me on my journey. Much love. I appreciate it. So let's look at the price of drip today. As you can see at the recording of this video, drip is at $5.48. And no, I'm not worried or concerned about this. Like I said, I'm steady adding to my position. So if you're out there listening and you are not in drip, do your own research. Take some time out of your schedule and really check out this project. I believe it's still the best play in DeFi. And if you need additional information, check out dripcommunity.wiki. It is an excellent resource. I believe it has everything you need to know to get started and have a deeper understanding of the drip faucet as well as the animal farm. So let me leave you with this quote for the day. Invest for the long haul. Don't get too greedy and don't get too scared. Shelby MC Davis. And remember, like I always say, invest in yourself, invest in your future. Learn more about these DeFi plays. DeFi Dialogue out. Got a bad, but I need more. Gonna put it off in the reservoir. Compounding, confounding haters, cause they immature. Air market, what is that? Check the stats, we up some more. Passive income is the way. Yes, I'm certain, yes, I'm sure.